Hi guys, Tracy here from the Sewing Channel. Well, today you are going to learn how to make a mask three different ways and you do not need to know how to sew. But you will need a few items, okay? Okay guys, I just wanted to let you know real quick before we get started, where can you find all these things, right? Right now they have these paper towels at Walmart. If you can't find them at Walmart, they'll be online or at Home Depot or at Lowe's possibly. These right here, Family Dollar or Walmart, okay? Nobody can find elastic right now. Well, guess what guys, I did. Elastic is at the Dollar General, but you need to go quick. Everybody's got a stapler, right? Hopefully. This right here, duct tape or any tape, just use something. One of our masks involves double fusible interfacing or stitch witchery. It comes on a roll. Some people that don't sew, they usually use this to hem their pants loose to both sides of fabric or it also glues to both sides of the paper towel. Perfect for no sew, right? Let's get busy, guys. Okay, be sure and click the link below to get your free pattern for this mask. Here's a close-up look at the items that you'll need for each mask. Fold two pieces of paper towels in half, lay them right on top of each other. Cut out your pattern, being sure to lay the pattern piece on the fold. For the staple mask only, you'll need to cut a couple extra pieces as you see me do here. Pipe cleaners ready, fold in half and twist. Okay, mask number one is going to be that fusible stitch witchery we had. You're going to cut tiny pieces and lay them along the seam line, as you see me do here, and then you're going to lay a non-steamed iron on top. The pointy side, the really curved side, is the nose side. You're going to do that next, just like you did previously, and iron that down. Now do the same thing to the other pattern piece. Now put right sides together and nest them like a little bowl. Hatch the stitch witchery on the top side, the nose side, just like you did on those inner pieces. Now you may need to use tiny pieces as you go. After you've attached the top portion of the mask, you're going to turn it right side out. Wow, look at it, it's looking great so far. Here I'm just lightly pressing just to make sure that all my lines are nice and neat. Now with the wrong side still together, you're going to use the stitch witchery and just attach the bottom with the raw edge out. Now take a small piece of that fusible interfacing with your elastic and just lay it in there to attach it with the heat, trying not to get the elastic inside of the fusible interfacing. Now the way that we've done the elastic, it can be adjustable to anyone's ear. Now we're going to use the staple method. So what you see me do here is take the one side of the mask and take one of those little pieces and we're going to just attach that to where the seam would be. And that will ensure that there's no air going in between or not as much anyways because of the staple holes. Now you see a little X at the tip there. Don't put a staple there because when we go to turn that under, we definitely don't want a staple there. Do the same thing to the other pattern piece. Now take them right sides together and nest them like two little bowls. For this one, I'm going to add a pipe cleaner for the nose. So what you see me do here is just cut out a little tubing for the pipe cleaner. Now you're going to staple all across the top. Turn 
right side out carefully. Here I just added a little bit of extra duct tape to the seam area just to make sure that the staples didn't poke out. Then just add the pipe cleaner tube to the inside. Now you're going to staple all across the bottom. It's okay if the raw edge is out. A tip here though, whichever way you turn the mask, make sure that that staple is not facing towards you, that it's facing away from you. Now attach the elastic inside being sure not to staple the elastic because we want it to free flow in there. Tie the ends just like we did on the other mask and it will be adjustable. Okay, time for the duct tape. Okay, now just like before, but this time we're going to use duct tape. You are going to, just as you see me do there, fold over a piece of duct tape over the seam by the nose area and at the chin area. Just for reinforcement, I'm going to add a couple little pieces right there at the nose area. Now you're going to do the same thing to the other pattern piece. Just like before, nest them right sides together like two little bowls. Now start attaching them, the top portion of the mask, all the way down with the duct tape. Now turn it right side out. Now believe it or not, this mask with the duct tape was actually a little bit more fidgety and had to fuss a little bit more to get it where I needed it to go. Now just add the pipe cleaner. I did attach a small piece of duct tape to the pipe cleaner to make sure that it held. Now attach the duct tape to the bottom portion of the mask, as seen. Now fold over the ends and add the elastic and add your duct tape. I wanted every single person to be able to make a mask, whether they knew how to sew or not. And I hope that you gained knowledge from this. Take care, stay safe, and God bless you.